Good afternoon, YouTube. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Hope y'all all doing real good. I do. Put up two stories, three stories today. One on the web page. Uh, March News YouTube channel. Put up a video of doctors telling us that Ebola that they were losing the battle on Ebola. Now a couple of days ago if you're a subscriber and you watch all my videos you'll see a video that I put out where I was talking about nuclear bombs and with that effect that Ebola would be our main concern well that didn't put a nail in it for me for the nuclear bomb stuff but it did do me do one thing for me it told me that I wasn't too far off with what I said about Ebola to start with now I'm no doctor I don't know really what it even is I don't know what it all I know is what I've read what they say is can do to you besides key you. so folks we have a lot going on we I mean we really got a lot going on we just had the incidents in Mer Missouri <laughs> you know I've been doing YouTube videos and websites for a while now since 2009 Folks back then, when I first started, it was more done as my first two years on YouTube were more done for awakening people but enjoying myself. There was things that I wanted to wake people up to. But I didn't work near as hard then as I do now. The more I've learned, the more anxious that it has become. When I first heard that clip, that Obama was the closer to the New World Order from Henry Kissinger. That, uh, I pretty much blew my mind. It did. We had Ferguson, Missouri, the young man getting killed. Now let me let me add this to you too. The day before or the evening before that young man got killed, another young man got killed. Another young black man got killed.
he was shot down in a Walmart store. And that was all because people were told at the Walmart store. If you see something, say something. Well, they seen something, didn't they? He had a toy gun. Whether it be a BB gun or just a plain plastic toy gun, completely. They shot that man down and killed him. The very next day, another young black man strong armed the store. And he got shot in the street. And he was literally charging at the police officer. Now, is it right that he died? I'm not saying it's right that he died. I feel bad that he did die. I feel bad for his family. But my problem with all both of those stories is that the morals that our country's got about things that happen are really extremely screwed up. I feel for both families equally. I do. But between the two stories though, I have a whole lot stronger feelings about the Walmart store, young man, than I do the other. And that's the truth. Because I don't see that I don't see the anger coming from him the way I did from the young the other young man strong arming a store owner or a store owner and taking things from him to whether we can prove that he done it or not is not the point my point of it is is my belief to this is the story that happened in Ohio was covered up because they didn't want y'all to know or put together that all of this happened to cover up Homeland Security saying if you see something say something And moving right along with this story, I made another web page. And this is a very old story. This one's about Sandy Hook. It was done by monograph. It's on his ghost channel. And I recommend y'all going to see it. You can go to his ghost channel and watch it. Which I'm going to leave a link below this. Or you can go to my before it's news because I posted it over there.
in that story, I do believe that he put one more nail in the fake category coffin. And it's pretty much closed case after that, I would believe. Now, I just gave you two two stories, three, Ebola, Ferguson, Sandy Hook. Three of those stories just happened. Or two of those stories. But we got two more that's just happened. The man getting his head cut off. The Stephen guy. Can't even remember the other guy's name. It's been a week now. I feel for both of them as families. And I'm not saying to y'all that either one of them are dead. And I ain't saying either one of them are alive. All I've been trying to tell y'all is they're lying. The main report to all of this is a lie. And it's to go to war. With Iran. Yet again. To go into Iran. With the military. Yet again. Not to fight Iran. But to be in Iran. Why? Well, we talked about the Iraqi dinar. Does that have anything to do with it? Don't know. Not really. But it's been a long time. A very long time since Junior Bush said that the Iraqi war would pay for itself. Y'all remember that? Some of you do. Some of you don't. But you can look it up. He did say it. And there's a lot of people out there that do know about the Iraqi dinar. And they invested in it. There's a lot of people out there know about that. Now... In my opinion, all of that stuff is all it is is about money. And I think it's two powers, maybe four or five. Maybe it's all the powers, all the bankers. They got to get their hooks in everybody. Or they got to make their own... profit they got to get everybody to invest it in debt before they release the money somehow or something to that effect they got to figure out a way to make sure that they don't lose their control because of the new money that may come out even though it's still fake money you understand what I mean? I mean, it's still all fake. It's just paper. And all organizations all over the world are set up like the United States. Different names, different places, but they all go through the World Banks. All of them. 
and they're all set up like a monopoly. The more money they put in, it's not backed by nothing. It's just backed up by you buying, buying something and loaning and borrowing money. You know, folks, it really is a damn shame that all of us all over this country can't see how the mainstream media twist and mangle everything that they can twist and mangle. I put out a video earlier this morning about Obama. That's another story I put up. I didn't put up a web page on it nowhere. Mainly because I thought it was propaganda. But CNN headline actually said, I don't even want to repeat it, that the beheading video was real. U.S. says. Can you believe that? I, I, for the life of me, I can't, I can't gather, I just can't comprehend how many lives that have been told in this country by the mainstream media and the federal government let me rephrase that federal governments all over this world It's like, we got Putin, we got Obama, we got, what is it in England, the Prime Minister, we got the Queen, folks. I don't know who it is that actually runs all these so-called presidents and prime ministers. But folks, for hundreds of years now, every country has a problem with religion, racism, or some form of dispute. But mainly religion and racism of some sort. Now, I'm not talking about blacks and whites at all. I just said racism. The United States has a racism problem with whites and blacks. But they have more than just that. That's all that you really hear. There's way more racism than that. And it has become to where it's not really racism anymore. 
it's kind of a nationality, racism, from whatever country you're from. Because the United States has always been made up of mega countries. World War II, didn't we round up all the Japanese? Put them in camps? Sure did. Was that wrong? Sure was. Those men were over there fighting alongside of some of those American men. But their family was in a, in a camp. And they used those boys for translators, whatever they needed them to do. A lot of them got killed. Never got to see their family got free. You know, they have said several times now that they got prisons all over this country. And I don't doubt it. I believe it. I do. But why are most of them empty? And if they got anybody in, that's very few. Oops. It is plumb depressing to sit here think of the things that I'm thinking right now and tell you what I see. I don't know if y'all feel it or not. But there's something entirely wrong to accept and to ignore what's going on around you and to not share the truth when you hear it. The mainstream media has about ruined the internet for all of us. I made a video yesterday and I apologize again for being outspoken and a little rude because I was upset. I don't apologize, not one word of what I said, because what I told you was true. I'm only apologizing for the attitude I had and the language I was using. And you know, some of the people listen to my videos and sit there long enough to listen to them. Some made a comment that they're not they're not greedy. Well I'm not talking to every living soul. But I am talking to you all when I say what I say. Now, some of you personalize this to make it sound as if I'm talking directly just to you. 
I'm not. Only your heart can tell you whether you're wrong or right. Only your heart can tell you right from wrong. I've told y'all before that God is inside you. And you feel when you're wrong and you feel when you're right. Most of the time when you're wrong. You feel when you're doing something wrong. Something inside you is telling you that you're wrong. And if it doesn't, I'm sorry folks, if it doesn't, then we got a real big problem in this country. And, and I really mean that. Because if you can't feel that you're doing something wrong when you do it, and know that you're doing something wrong, I speak being greedy or anything like that. Greedy, angry, selfish, any of that. Sorry, she just got through eating and now she wants to play. Folks, we got a problem. This whole country, in fact, if you really want to know the truth, it's the whole world that's got a problem. When I was told something by an older person, when I was quite a bit younger, when you feel as if everybody's crazy, look in the mirror because it might be you. Well, I've done that several times in the past few years. I've backed off several times. But every time I back off, something inside me says, don't. And it's been doing it a lot lately. I've had all kinds of things come at me, trying to force me to back off, trying to make me back off financially. I lost my job uh, six months ago now, four months, five months ago, almost five months. Being attacked on the web page, being attacked on YouTube, on YouTube channels, watching my friends get attacked, more than one, not just Dutch. I have other friends too, guys. I do. I'm not mentioning their names because I don't want to get them attacked anymore. But a lot of people that do help me, and I know this, some of them I know personally, and I know how they feel because they get attacked. Sometimes they get attacked to the point to where their equipment don't work. They get hacked and their machines quit working they go down. And I know other people as well that had the same problem. There's a lot of people out there, folks, that are haters 
of one kind or another. It's either religion, race, culture, could be even just a simple thing as they like basketball and you like baseball. We're all going to disagree and agree on one form or another. But folks, if we don't start agreeing on our God-given rights of being free individual people, and get away from property tax so our land belongs to us and get away from things like driver's license and insurance companies all these major corporations that's changed the laws over the last few years last 20 last 50 60 years that has enslaved us so deeply and go back to the way it used to be and quit living and buying these houses that are in these homeowners association groups where they can tax you twice Both of them is just a form of tax. You move on the property, but you're leasing it. You don't own it. You're buying it, but you don't own it. Number one, you got to pay federal income tax. I mean, you got to pay property tax on it. And then you're paying another tax to the homeowners association, and the homeowners association's got the same right as the federal government but by you not abiding by their rules, they can take your property. They can. I know that. For real. I know that. I have a house that was taken away from me. I know that. There's no lying about that. I know that happened here in Florida. I know it can happen. It's been all over the news here. It's happened four, five, six times in the last six months. It's been on the news. Don't believe me, look it up. There's been a couple in a different different state where the man was hanging a flag in a flower pot. A little bitty flag. A little bitty. In a flower pot. $8,000 fine for an American flag in America flower pot. They told them if they didn't pay it, they were going to foreclose. That's not the federal government, folks. They're not the federal government. It's just a corporation. You get me? That's a greedy, selfish, self-righteous corporation. This is happening to every one of you. You just don't see it. Some of you do. Some of you don't. But the ones of you that do see it, we need to change it. You architects, and you designers of homeowners associations, quit making them, man. Build them different. Build it as a neighborhood, a free, home-style neighborhood, like we used to build them. You build a house, and you build another one next to it. Don't have to be connected to homeowners association, because that's what the city wants you to build. They want you to build it so they can incorporate the neighborhood. 
So they incorporate you more. Stealing you. Taking from you. Telling you when, where, what, how you can do. We want you to ship purple today. And you say, yes sir, what color and how high do you want the pile, sir? See what I mean? They want their thumb on top of you. To push you down. To treat you like a slave. They're showing you that you're a slave. And that you're sheeple. Because you don't understand the, the real facts. And you don't understand the real laws of this country. Or this world. It doesn't matter. Other, other places in this country or world have different laws. The only thing different is some of their laws are worse than ours. Some of ours is better than theirs, but they got some that are better than ours. But the way this country has become in the last eight years, folks, you're plum slaves. And I don't care what color or what race you think you are, if you live in the United States, you have become one of the biggest slaves to your property and your home than any, probably any other country out there. And you're supposed to be a sovereign, free, God-loving American. Or, oh, it's the wrong word. God-loving, free individual. Not a sovereign citizen. That's that thumb. Citizen, 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 citizen. You're not a citizen. You are free, God loving person. Doesn't matter if you believe in God or you don't. You were given free rights when you were born to breathe to eat, to shit, and to piss. That's a natural occurrence, ain't it? All of these other rights that I'm telling you about are free too. But citizen, 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 makes you a slave. It does. supposed to be free folks you know I've talked again way longer than I wanted to this was just about three web pages I'm sorry folks but my heart burns with hate and anger of the way my country has became from what the forefathers wrote many years ago to keep us free and what they done by taking the gold standard off of money and what they've done in these few years since they've done it they have destroyed the livelihood and I know what they've done and it has destroyed my grandchildren and great grands children's livelihood of being free people. And You know, there's some people out there that say, well, I'll just leave it to them. I fought my battles, it's over now. When I'm dead, it's all up to them. Well, see, 
What most of y'all don't understand is you can't do that. Not no more. Because see, while you were sleeping and they took the gold standard off money, everything you bought that you bought on credit got yourself into debt and all the different things that have been bought on credit has just made it worse on you. Made it worse on your children because you can't pay off a debt that's made out of thin air. You can't. When you borrow $1, it takes $2. Then you got two dollar debt, and then you got to borrow four to pay the two. But they just keep going through the Federal Reserve, and it just it just keeps going in a circle. Every time it does one, one pays one off, and it goes back around. And it, it, nobody's got no money in those accounts. They just it just does this. It just stops at one, goes to the next. It's just money numbers. All it is. But the debt keeps getting higher. The debt ceiling just grows and grows. Straight on up. It does. It just keeps growing. It keeps growing and you can't pay it off. And it's to the point now that it may in my lifetime and it may shortly collapse. And when it does, what are we going to do then? Not only have we collapsed the money situation, we've destroyed we have destroyed our children's future completely. That's all up to us. I say this, and I mean it. It's up to you and me and millions of other people to put a stop to this before we can. As long as we can still stop, talk, and speak freely, we can do something. But they're putting a stop to that. They're showing us that they can put a stop to that. They did that yesterday to my webpage and to several of my friends on YouTube that handled the beheading. That's wrong. Censorship. And I do believe Hitler done that just before we went to World War II. Probably did it on World War One too. I just ain't done enough research to be able to, or remember. One or the two. Take your pick. The research there from my cold dead hands. Abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Hmm. Sounds funny, don't it? But if we don't, we're slaves. That's all there is to it. Much love. Y'all have a good day. Sorry the video so long as well. Don't forget to follow Tattoo1009.com on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Dale Emotion and stumble upon. Please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate government.